To calculate the formal charges for PO4, 3 minus the phosphate ion, we'll use the Lewis structure here and this formula. So I have two representations. This is one way you could draw it, and this is another. This one's a little bit easier to use when we're calculating formal charges because we can see where all the electrons are. So let's calculate the formal charge on this oxygen right here. Oxygen, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A on the periodic table. It has six valence electrons. Unbonded, these are the electrons that aren't involved in chemical bonds. They're not between atoms. We have two, four, six for this oxygen. Then we subtract one half of the bonded. That's the electrons between the phosphorus and the oxygen here. So this line represents a pair of valence electrons. We have two of those. Six minus six is zero minus one. That equals a minus one. So this oxygen here, its formal charge is minus one. Since these oxygens here are identical, they also have a minus one formal charge. Let's do the phosphorus in the middle. Phosphorus is in group 15, five valence electrons, unbonded. All of these electrons are involved in chemical bonds. So we don't have any unbonded valence electrons. Then we'll subtract the bonded valence electrons, one half of them. So for phosphorus, we have two, four, six, eight, 10 bonded valence electrons. Five minus zero minus five, that's zero. So the formal charge on the phosphorus is zero. And phosphorus can have more than eight valence electrons. It can have what is called an expanded octet. Let's do the last oxygen here with the double bond. Oxygen group 16, unbonded, two, four. Minus one half of the bonded, we have two, four of those. Six minus four is two minus two. That's zero. So the formal charge on this oxygen is zero. When we add all the formal charges up here, we get a three minus. That's the charge on the ion. So that makes sense. If we were to draw this Lewis structure differently, we would end up with different formal charges. And in this case, we'd like our formal charges to be as close to zero or as close to the charge on the ion as possible. That would mean it's the most likely or favorable Lewis structure. So for this structure, we have minus one, two, three, minus three. Looks pretty good. So that makes us think this is the best Lewis structure for the phosphate ion. You can also see in this representation here, the formal charges actually are drawn next to the oxygen atoms, just like we found in our Lewis structure. This is Dr. B with the formal charges for PO4, 3 minus, the phosphate ion. Thanks for watching.